I think we're in line in that. What, what yeah. advice do you have for someone that's going to pull the cord and, and jump free from a job that brought in a lot of money, a lot of prestige, a lot of people will think, wow, that's great, you know, you're on Wall Street, you're running a hedge fund, and then you're, you're saying, no, I want to make an independent film now, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break free of this life. It's just like Michael Judge said to me. Um, he said, think about what the world would be like if people did what they were afraid to do. I mean, so, yeah, sure, there's a safety blanket, and, um, but that, what kind of life is that? You know, I, um, when I was at film school, I would be editing a film that I shot, and I would look at my watch, and it was like eight hours went by, and it felt like 10 minutes. And that's the kind of feeling that, you know, they say if you love what you do, you don't work a day in your life or something like that. So, you know, it, it, take the leap, you know what I mean? Or else just live your whole life doing something you hate to do and being afraid to, that's no life, you know? Yeah. Right, but in the real world too, though, there's like an invisibility factor sometimes when you switch over to a creative thing that hasn't totally taken off. And when you're on Wall Street and you have a title, you know, you're respected, you know. So how was that thinking almost like maybe there's going to be a stigma attached to me leaving something? Um, you mean in terms of it being sort of a humbling experience to start at the bottom? A little bit, because uh, it sounds a lot of people when they do that sort of switch of careers, it's not just going from one great position to another. There's, there's... Oh, for sure, yeah. You know, I, I just... It, for, for me, it got to the point, and remember, it took another five years, basically, for me to finally... So, typically with me, I don't really do anything until my back's against the wall. You know, like, that's just the way I am. Um, so, not doing it just got too overwhelming for me. So, um, for me, I, uh, I just was thinking, like, you know... I don't want to live the rest of my life thinking, what if I had tried this kind of thing? So I was just like, fuck it, you know? Can you tell me what you mean by backs against the wall in this situation? Like, was it just where, like, you're basically in the office and time is consumed? I was miserable. Mm -hmm. Karen, I mean, I was miserable, you know? So um, it's not about the outside stuff, you know, the apartment and the cars and whatever it is. It's like if, if you're not happy, I mean, that's that's, you know? Um, and I knew, I, there's a quote, I think it's Lorca, he says something like, um, to burn with desire and keep quiet about it is the greatest punishment we can give, you know, uh, put upon ourselves. And it's so true, you know, I, it's just, it's after a while of just being like, what if, and let me try, plus, Technology caught up too, you know, people, guys were making clerks and Brothers McMullen and shit like that. And it was like, I can do this. Let me just try it. Um, so yeah, that's what happened. So what's your advice for someone else in your same position? Maybe they're a doctor, lawyer, whatever. Maybe they're physical therapist, whatever it is where it's like there's a title, there's a respect factor there. Family thinks, oh, he's doing great. Our son is this, he's amazing. And turns out our son doesn't want to be there. Sure. How do you... Uh I think it shouldn't be for, you know, our son doesn't want to be there. I think it should be that per the son itself saying to himself, I don't want to be here, hmm. A. But um, B, it doesn't have to be all or nothing, too. You know, remember, I wrote a script when I was still working on Wall Street. So it doesn't have to be like, I quit and let me try this, jump into this whole thing. Right. It depends on what the endeavor is. But if somebody wants to be an actor or a writer or whatever, you don't have to quit your job and chain upend everything. So I guess my advice would be, in general, pull that trigger, whatever that trigger is for you. But, you know, you can sort of dip your toe in the water a little bit. Yeah, for sure. But, you know, l wondering about something like seeing a girl and wanting to ask her out or just and she never like I speaking for myself. That's happened to me. You know, I've seen a girl like I'd love to talk to her and she, I never talked to her. So after a while, you're like, OK, I don't want to feel that feeling again. Let me talk to her this time. And you do. And, you know, whatever happens. Right. So. Right. I think not doing something, for me uh, at least, is um, I have to just kind of keep doing it. And that's what I sort of mean about back against the wall.